Hi, everyone, we're here doing a special sneak peek taste test for Reap Madison's Burgers and Brew event, which is June 2nd and 3rd at Capitol Brewery this year. So, everyone, Matt, who's an executive chef here at the Great Dane Brewery in downtown Madison, is giving us a little preview of what he's going to be doing this year for the event. Talk yeah, about the so burger. The burger the Great Danes are going to be showing at the at Burgers and Brews this year is a smash burger, and we sort of have that kind of a play along with the beer that our brewmaster created too. So the smash burger is kind of gets its name from the way it's cooked. It's really smashed on a hot surface. It's really nice and crusty. It's um, it's going to be ground beef from Wisconsin Meadows, uh, grass-fed beef co-op with Emmy Roth butter case cheese, which for a burger just gets really soft and creamy. It's delicious. And then we made a pickle relish with some of the pickled hop juice that are actually a Wisconsin product from a, a farm called Glacial Ridge Farm. And it's the same hops that we use in the hopping of our beer. So tell me about the beer. Sure. Yeah, the beer is yeah. called, um, the name we came up with for this beer is called Reap What You Smash. And <laughs> I love in it. brewing, a smash beer sort of refers to <laughs> single malt, single hop, which is the style of how the beer is made. Um, and like I was saying, in this case, we were able to find yeah. Wisconsin grown Chinook hops sure. from Glacier Ridge Farm. And it's just a really malty, hoppy, yeah. kind of hot day. It goes really well with a heavy, you know, hot good day. Burger. It's raining outside, and it's well, Monday morning, it's and I still, anyway. and it's still good. <laughs> Absolutely. So why, I mean, like, you were just trying to hope for, like, extra points? You named, like, the, the beer and the burger? You know, yeah. it came through the collaboration process and talking with, you know, one of the great things about, and one of the really fun things about the Great Dane is we have such an incredibly talented staff, not only of chefs and cooks, but also all of our brewers. And sort of the idea kind of came through the collaboration process, just shooting ideas around and, well, some of the farms that you listed that getting the meat and the produce from, I mean, were those already regular suppliers of the Great Dane? We've worked with them before in the okay. past. Uh, the Great Dane has a really 10-year, 25-year history, so the number of local suppliers and farms that we've worked with is just extensive and it's a really great to be part of. Well, no wonder you guys love being a part of this and the support reap because that's what they're all about. Absolutely. It's just like building and strengthening that partnership between the local farmers, the restaurants, and obviously the consumers, all those of us who live in the area. So we're getting more of the actual produce grown in our state. Right. Um, so yeah, and hopefully it's keeping us healthier. Although I'm gonna lie, this doesn't actually look healthy, but it looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so healthy is always important. Absolutely. Um, so. Noah, yeah. you actually are here with because you're planning the event. Right. So talk a little bit more about who else, what other breweries and restaurants, what other partners are we going to see this year? Yeah, so if you're looking for some more delicious pairings, uh, we have some classics like uh, Lombardinos and Carbon 4 paired together again. And we even have some new talented chefs from uh, Sujo and Octopi Brewing that are paired together. So if you're looking for more delicious burger and beer, uh, there'll be plenty of options on both Saturday, uh, June 2nd, and Sunday, June 3rd. Doors open on Saturday right at 4? Correct. And that's yeah. the VIP hour, so if you want to uh, get in early, and they have table service this year, guys, which is awesome, because you don't go stand in line and queue. I've been the last few years, and when I read that, I was like, dude, I need VIP. Absolutely. <laughs> so now, first, you get to try everything first, but then you're going to actually have a waiter or a waitress this year. And then on Sunday, doors open at? Uh, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock also. Early entry. For yes. early entry and VIP. Are the large, so make sure you get online and get your tickets. So, I mean, the whole day is great, but if you can get in the door early, you absolutely want to. So I'm actually going to take a bite of this. Like, I hope it's okay. I can't just like stand here like, no, are you going to take a bite? Yeah, let's do it. All right. <laughs> oh my God. That's delicious. It is awesome. <laughs> How long did it take you to come up with this, Matt? Um, you know, it all kind of came with starting with um, the products that we have available. As soon as uh, I was talking with the good folks from Emmy Roth, and um, you know, I asked them what they like to put on their burgers, and they said, if you want something that's really melty and creamy like that, this is the best choice. So it's perfect. I, you know, whenever I think of food, I always like to start with you know, get inspiration from the products we have available to work with. And Go from there. You know what's gonna be really hard for me now? I'm gonna get there. I mean, now I already know how awesome this beer <laughs> is and that burger is. How the heck am I gonna? I mean, now I'm almost just kind of like, if I get someone else, do I go for the sure thing? I do my experiment. <laughs> you know, it's always the toss up. It'll be fun. Get the VIP. I, oh, I do need yeah. to get the VIP. <laughs> I absolutely gotta get the VIP. <laughs> and you get unlimited choice. Oh, yeah. really? 
Yeah, as many burgers as you can eat. Oh yeah, you guys, you gotta get VIP. <laughs> Just tell them, because if you, I mean, that code will be unlimited. You only get two, right? If you right. don't have VIP, you only get a choice of two. So yeah, you absolutely want to get VIP. That, <laughs> that even reminds me though, not everybody is necessarily a meat eater. So what, what about that? Yeah, so each day we have uh, three vegetarian options. Okay. And Sunday even has a vegan option. If you're Awesome. So there is some wing for everyone yeah. at Burgers and Brew this year. I'm not a beer drinker. Uh, what? Oh, yeah. There's also a cider each day. So we have Restoration Cider on Sunday and, um, sorry, uh, Cider Bar on Saturday. But we're Wisconsin. We're all beer drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> what oh, if we have then, kids coming? Yeah, we have the kids. Well, dessert, right? right. So there's dessert, and then there's also Nesala Kombucha will be there, and Wisco Pop will be there as well. 